Welcome to a new segment that we're going to call Student of the Gun Homeroom. Now, some of you are seeing this as a video clip and other you, others of you are just hearing it as an audio podcast. But what we've decided to do is do a little bit of bonus material for you guys right there. Those of you who can't quite get enough of Student of the Gun. Now, this material here is going to be available both on our website and on a special online channel, so stay tuned. That's Student of the Gun Homeroom. And during the homeroom, we're just going to talk about topics that mean something to me. Whatever happens to be putting a burr under my saddle on that particular day or the topic of the day, or maybe we'll be answering uh, questions from viewers. So let's talk about a subject that is near and dear to my heart and was just brought up to me recently when I was doing a live training event. Now, I don't do this, but some people have been on ranges where they do it, and that is when you're on a live fire shooting range, you're in a training environment, and the instructor or assistant needs to go downrange for some reason. He's got to step in front of the shooters, okay? So what they do is they'll have everyone cease fire, and they holster up, and then some people, some instructors, will make the shooters raise their hands over their heads or put their hands on their heads like they're surrendering. And that's a bunch of bull crap, and let me tell you why. There are two types of people on planet Earth that need to put their hands over their heads. Criminals, when they're being arrested, okay, and the enemy when they are surrendering. I am not a criminal, and I am not the enemy, and I'm not going to put my freaking hands over my head like I'm surrendering. And if you're on a range where they make you do this, or if you're an instructor that does this, you're a freaking knucklehead, and you need to stop doing it. Because you say, well, it's extra safe that way, it's extra safe. All right, stop yourself. First of all, if they're already holstered up and they're standing there, do you think they're so unsafe that they're going to pull their gun out and shoot you while you're restapling a target? Or they've got their rifle safe and that they're slung and they're hanging from them, they're going to pick the rifle up and shoot you? If they're that negligent and that reckless and you're really that scared of your students, you need to get them off the range or you need to not be there. Okay, putting telling people to put their hands over their heads this is what people who are surrendering do. Okay, and if you're watching this live, you can see my hand gestures. If you're just listening to it, close your eyes and imagine. But if you're telling people to put their hands over their head, it's basically teaching them to practice surrendering. And we're Americans, and we don't freaking surrender. So stop teaching people to practice surrendering. Enough said, enough said. Until next time, be sure you come back and see us at Homeroom, Student of the Gun Homeroom. If you can't get enough of Student of the Gun, where do you go? You go to studentofthegun.com. It's your 24-7 on-demand source for everything gun-related.